So today we're doing more of the Bounce Random Towers mod, and this time we got another twist. If you recall a while back, I made a couple of videos on the Ultimate Cross Pathing mod. Basically, that mod allows you to get upgrades to 555 of every tower, and it was a lot of fun. So I figured, why not combine both together to make for an even more fun time? So here we go we're on the map Battle Sands, and we're gonna try to actually go to round 120 this time. Just because I feel like with Ultimate Cross Pathing, it should make your run a little bit easier since generally these towers are going to be pretty strong if you're able to get three pads on them. Of course, it's random, so we gotta still pray for luck of the draw. Now, let's begin. Let's start with the Dart Monkey and see what we can get. That's good early game. 2 one one Dart. I think we can do a little better than that. one one zero NG. We can probably do better than that, too. But let's go ahead and drop two towers so we're not, you know, relying too heavy on RNG here. Blue Gunner, one one zero Dart. Pretty standard so far. Not really uh, any cross pathing just yet. But once you get late enough in the game, I think a lot of the towers will end up being, well, utilizing three pads. Once again, the random tower that we get is going to be either 20% above or below the cost within that range. And I assume how it works with ultimate cross pathing is that it takes into account you know, the entire cost of that cross path tower. Which should be pretty simple, so these mods I think you can buy pretty, uh, pretty smoothly. Now, uh, let's see. We get anything good? 0-1-2... 1-1-3 uh, tack, okay. If only I had super range for the extra pierce, because right now this is basically a 1-0-3 tack. So I'm not really utilizing um, that ultimate cross by me too much, but... I'll keep it for now. It's pretty good early. I think I can probably get rid of this thing. Ooh! Now we're talking. Got a 3-2-2 tack. Now this is what you want to see. By the way, just like the other balanced random mod videos I did, we're gonna try to beat this in one go. As in, no backing out of the game, and ideally no continues. Just so you know, the stakes are a little bit higher, and uh, I don't have to worry about, you know, getting money from continues. Now that being said, if we're gonna go 120 rounds, I'm definitely going to need either farms, and definitely camo protection. So let's go ahead and start dropping stuff. Now, I did have camo there, but it's not really good enough, so... Oh! Okay, 203 Buccaneer. The Cursed Cross Path. We don't really care about, well, the damage of it. We just really care about the money making. And we finally got that, so uh, that's good. Now, if you excuse me, I think I'm going to upgrade this tax shooter. Alright, 002, 300. Mauler. I guess I might keep this for now, since I kind of do need more damage for round 40. I think I need to drop a fourth tower at this point, though. I like the current three that I have. Let's go ahead and get a fourth one that I like. 111 Village. I mean, it doesn't have a discount. Is it ever worth it? You know what, we'll keep this around, so that I can make other upgrades cheaper. I mean, 10% discount on tier 3s and below it definitely doesn't hurt to have. Now, this Ice Monkey would be good if it was not in the spot, so we're gonna reroll because of that. Uh, 2 2 one out buff, if only it was a third tier. Okay, we got a Twin Guns and Ballistic Missile. I think I'll keep it for now because it's, uh, some ram damage. Cleans up the mob insides. Now, it might be a bit risky not buying anything right now, just rolling with this Blissey Missile, but I think we're good for now, right? And good enough. Got man, she'll tank it for us. Now, let's reroll something else, so... Uh, or get a new tower? I think we'll get a new tower. I'm, I just dropped Helipilot just because they're... Uh, they get us to, like, actual upgrades faster, instead of dropping a 0 0 0 drop monkey, and then having to upgrade five times for getting an actual good upgrade. So, one one zero. Uh, 103 Druid. 220 Sub. Not a very good bomb. 330. Uh, hold on. Hopefully, I'm not dead here. Maybe I should drop a tower real quick, quickly, before I die. Oh, yeah, I'm really living on the edge there. <laughs> so, do I keep the sprockets? Because the thing is, cleansing foam isn't really that useful. I guess it is deep camo. But the bad thing is, that I actually can't target it. Or can I? Nah, there's no targeting for this. Well, let's try to quickly get something that's a bit strong for mid-game, perhaps. Uh, this Dartling Gunner, uh, nah, it's a fast swivel. Doesn't really do too much. Ooh, hold on, what's this? We got a Camo Detection and Double Shot Cannon, which I guess is okay for now. So we'll go ahead and keep that and build another tower, because I think all these towers right now are okay at most. Or at least. So we're gonna keep going with another one. Are you sure it would be good if it wasn't for that spot? Oh, finally, we got a decamo. That's cool. That means you can probably get rid of this guy, since I don't need cleansing foam anymore. Now, 
Sex per time. Ooh, uh, 412. Unfortunately, we're not really out buffing anything but this boat. So I guess we'll make new towers. I really don't want to clutter the map too much. Only if I have to. But I think I'll just do it for the early game. And hopefully once the towers scale off. We don't need to draw new towers. We just got to re-randomize old towers. Now we already got a pretty good combo in Alk Ninja. Too bad it's not a Jitsu. But this is pretty good for now. So let's go ahead and get a, a tower beside the Alchemist. Because I don't really want to buff in the boat. I want to randomize this to something that would be really good when out buffed. So let's see. Nope. Oh, I think this is good, guys. So basically, we got a Kylie Turbocharge. I think that's pretty solid. On top of that, we actually got more Pierce, too. Like, just look how much damage it's doing, guys, without even using the ability. Look. It's crazy. Why don't we just use the ability just to show you how much damage we're doing? I think we just hit the jackpot, boys. Now, if you excuse me, I guess I'll randomize other towers in the meantime. Hopefully, we maybe get something like a farm that can also make us money to make, again, late game even easier. Got an out buff. I guess I'll we'll keep it and just move the mauler. Blade Maelstrom. I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna keep rerolling re because we got this thing. Got a 132, but it's not Intel, so skip. Four, okay. Alpha Ninja, guys, you can't you can't really reroll this. This boat has gotten zero action since the boomerang existed, so let's see if we get anything good. Four zero zero. Ooh, buckshot. Not good enough though. Deep and Shimmer. Not good enough. We already have D-Camo in the Mortar. Granted, not for DDTs. Now, we have Monkey Town, which is technically money-making. However, it's not really going to make much money when the Boomerang is going to do most pops. But, you know, might as well milk money while I can. So, I'll keep it for now. And yeah, just watch this, guys. 143 Boomerang versus Round CC3. Not even close. Even less close when I use the ability. See that? Just... Absolutely insane damage with that. We were so good that's carried us to $50,000. So I think we should just, you know, break the bank now. We got another farm here, so I guess I'll keep that. I will probably reroll this thing. Probably didn't make us that much money. Ooh. Oh, hang on. Holy crap. I almost died. Wasn't paying attention to 75 here, so hang on. Let's see if we got to use any abilities here or nah. This is good. This is actually really good, though. Look. Arcane Spike. Summon Phoenix. I'd say it's pretty solid. Let's use the Phoenix ability. Let's buy First Strike. See if we get anything strong. And we do. 4-4-4 four, four, four out, guys. But is this good at all? I feel like it's not really. Because, like... I mean, Tonic isn't that great. Really, all it's got going for us, or for it, is the out buff. And you guys know how I like to play. I like to risk it all. So, maybe we'll give it a go. Also, I wasn't paying attention, so, uh, oops. Now, I think what we gotta do is we gotta Mortar Micro, so a D-Camo is a Ceramics. That was probably where things were going wrong. And I think I'm ready, so let's go ahead and randomize to a really expensive Crosspath Tower. Let's see it. Comanche Commander Downdraft. Is this good? I don't think so, because it doesn't really synergize well. You just gain a Downdraft attack with the Comanche, and it's not even Top Path. However, I don't want to re-roll it just yet. Just because I, if I re-roll it to something that's really bad, then I still won't have that much DPS. And I have, I don't have camo either. So uh, let me see what I want to do. I guess Jitsu falls off, so let's go ahead and get something better. A snowstorm has the ability. I would say okay for now. Let's go ahead and get a monkey beside the out buff, though. Hopefully get something that synergizes well once more. Laser Cannon, man. Ring of Fire over... Hold on, hold on. If it does what I think it does, it sounds pretty OP. Let's see. How's the damage? Oh, it looks pretty good to me. It's like Ring of Fire shooting at overdrive levels of pace, which... Yeah, I don't know about you, but that's really good. It's not... You're not really seeing do a lot of damage right now, because... Man, she's kind of in the way. But this, I think, is a keeper. So, yeah. I don't think I really want to part with any of these guys. So, let's go ahead and drop a new cross path tower let's say down here and I'm just gonna press random abilities till I stop at something really awesome so this is a 313 better than a 213 so let's put it back up here and let's reroll this actually I realized that we have the monkey knowledge enabled so technically this does decamo DT so maybe I should keep both of them and I'm probably gonna just reroll this village I know the discount's kind of useful but kind of want to reduce clutter 
We got a more press. I think I have to keep this. It's it's good support. Man, we got we got some really good towers here. So we should be able to slow it down with a mob shove, which I should be uh wait what? Hang on. I thought I decamoed. We have the monkey knowledge, right? Come on, come on, come on. Holy heck, that was close. So yeah, again, I don't know what exactly went wrong there, because if I'm reading the wiki correctly, if you have the Monkey Knowledge Paint Stripper, you can decamel DDTs with Signal Flare. But maybe I'm wrong somewhere. Anyways, uh, I think we just gotta get a new tower. So Dark Monkey here, and let's just press random buttons till uh, it makes it somewhere. Okay, another mole press? Man. Once again, I kinda have to keep it, because it is good support, it's just not the support we need. You know, DDTs, for example. I think I should get rid of this guy. No, this thing, uh, the Phoenix ability actually sees camo on its own. So I think we just gotta buy it, clutter even more the screen. Which I hate to do, but again, all these towers are useful in some capacity. You can gotta, wait, 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 this is good too. We're buffing this, this Ring of Fire with even more attack speed. So I really can't get rid of it. In fact, I have the Raider screen now. This is even better. Okay. Awesome. That means I can freely get rid of this, right? I do a 40k shot, I really shouldn't be scared of spending it. So let's go ahead and quickly get a new tower. Quickly. Um, Juggernaut, Crossbow. You know what? Let's just see how 93 is. Here we go, everyone. Let's use both abilities. See how we do against DDTs here. And, okay. It's okay, but 95 is going to absolutely wreck us. Because we don't have anything to slow down DDTs. Minus Snowstorm. But that's a one use, so YOLO. Energizing... First Strike AP Darts. Okay, hang on. Well, first off, do I need Ability Cooldowns? Not really. Do I need First Strike? I mean, maybe for bad, but that's about it. Again, all eggs in one basket. Just cuz. Alright, here we go. A Laser Cannon Bez. The bad news is that it doesn't work on... Still doesn't work on DDs, guys. Alright, you know what? Since we already used one Continue already, I'm just gonna yellow 95 and pray that it's good enough. Because I feel like there still is a chance of this actually working. So let's go ahead, use Phoenix, and see how we're doing. Again, this Ring of Fire is going to be absolutely shredding. In fact, we're actually doing pretty well. Oh, also, this should be in first for DTs. Don't forget to use Snowstorm if we struggle. Fall behind a little bit. And surprisingly, we do beat 95. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Now, uh, I probably can't beat 99 looking at that. So what do you think we should change? I guess this guy isn't that good. So let's go ahead. Relentless Glue is more blue. And I kinda have to keep it because it works against the ATs, so keeping it it is. Here's 98 by the way. While 98 is going, I'm gonna go ahead and drop another tower. I guess over here. We got like what? 15 towers now? Five to guess. A third more press? Okay. How about another tower then? What are the odds that we get three more presses on our way to, uh, I don't know, getting more towers? Overdrive, uh, this, this, oh, hang on. Abilities? I'll Snowstorm if I have to. Snowstorm? Alright, that wasn't so bad. Here's my 100, by the way. I think we're fine, we're fine against this. The full map range of the Bez, or almost full map range, should allow us to pop this down, uh, really quickly. And uh, we'll have 100 rounds done. But I still want to do, again, 20 more rounds. Just so we have a chance of getting even more insane cross pads. So let's continue. I'm going to re-roll this thing. Hopefully something... Ooh. Juggernaut, Triple Shot, Crossword Master. I don't know if the Juggernaut really does much. Oh, wait. Is this shooting Juggernaut balls? Or is it just shooting... Oh, no. This is great, actually. This is triple the amount of crossbows, is it not? On top of having more pierce. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. The one-time Crossmaster is actually good. When you give it triple the projectiles and, like, double the pierce. Like, just look at the DPS here. Couple thousand per second. Take a look at the Bez. I think the crossbow is out DPS DPSing the Bez. It's definitely gonna catch up to it. Already a third of a million within, like, two rounds. And honestly, I think we're good at this point to reroll another one of these mortars since we have good camo with crossbow and the Bez. So... Let us see. Uh, I guess this is decamo. Like, perma decamo in every tower, so I can probably uh, move on to this one now. Shattering shells? I mean, D fortifies DT, so why not keep it? 
let's just reroll something else, like, uh, like this thing. It's really not seeing much action aside from, you know, using the Phoenix ability. We have a full auto shooting um, supply drop, which makes us money, but we don't really need money for the next 12 rounds, so let's just go. Okay, Grandmaster, no cross path, so boring. Next, Glaive Lord. Hey, this has cross pathing, but it's kind of far back in the track. And you know what? I'm feeling lucky. You know the cool thing about this uh, ultimate cross pathing X random towers is that you most likely will not run into a dead end because there's 15 upgrades, so unless the tower is literally 5 5 5. You can keep trying again. The Sentry Champion is pretty much the same thing, so try again. Biggest one? I think it's the same thing. So let's try again. Holy crap! <laughs> uh, I was not expecting that, but... We have a near global range. Absolute zero. Four, five, four Ice Monkey. What makes it give this much range? Let me, let me, let me see. Is it probably the bottom cross path that gives it a lot of range? But even then, does it really give you that much? It's kind of crazy. We literally just turned the entire desert map into a blizzard. Anyways, here's more DDTs. Uh, let's see if we need to uh, um, use the snowstorm ability at all. Or any of that. You can see the... You can also see that the crossbow master's um, pops is very close to the best at this point. So I kind of feel like re-rolling for the memes. Only got 11k to spare, but... Let's just do it anyways. Because why not? Permabrew time. Permabrew plus BMA combo. I mean, I guess that's okay, right? Since we're gonna be buffing the Dart Monkey, so making it do even more damage. Yeah, I think we got a Keeper Boys. It's even in a good spot, too. Nice and central. So it's able to buff literally everything that we have right now. And now for the two hardest DT rounds before 120. And it looks like with Permabrew, we absolutely annihilate that. And we probably annihilate this round, too, right? Well, let's go ahead and watch. Falls mine a little bit, but overall... Pretty good, I'd say. And I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I'm noticing that some of the upgrades here still have the Energizer ability from when I had the Energizer randomized. So I feel like it would still keep the Permabrew if I re-randomize. Re re so you know what? Let's go ahead and give it a go. You see the icon still there, so I think it, it works. Also, oh, don't tell me we were dead against ba I, bads. I thought we had bad damage, but maybe we're wrong. Okay, we don't. This is now not time for banks, guys. Oh, there we go. Just in time to save us, huh? A 5-5-4 five, five, ace. We're missing the big plane. Well, I think this is going to be really good for us, huh? Never missing sky shredding darts. You love to see it. On top of that, we got a nuke, so... DT insights aren't a problem. And yeah, what can I say? Really good time to get such a strong ace tower. And that'll allow us to beat the last round with ease. And so that'll be GG to 120 rounds of uh, Battle Sands with this mod. I'm just gonna YOLO in and keep re-randomizing stuff just to see if we get anything else more spicy. Reroll. 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 Oh, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I, I meant to end at 120, but I'm having a little fun with this mod. So apparently we got a carpet spike shooting out. Uh, long life spikes. Looks pretty interesting, I gotta say. It's really not stopping. Like, it's shooting out those long life spikes. But yeah, that being said, I think we're going to call it. Hope you guys enjoyed this combo mod. I found a lot of fun, so we'll probably see a part two of this. Like, you probably don't need to change much else to still have it be really, really fun. But of course, if you have any ideas with combo mods, then let me know. And I'm always down to consider them. Once again, thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next one.